Abdullah Saadi is a lonely person, lonely man, and he's independent, and he's very self, uh, self-independent, uh, as we can say more. Uh, he lives lonely. He in the mountains, so he paint and draw a mountain using different uh, material. Beside this, one of the important thing of Abdullah Saadi is uh, collecting. The collection is very important for him. He collect cans, empty cans. He collect bones. He collect. Uh, whatever he found, piece of stones, uh, collect uh, whatever he likes in his way, he take it and he uh, write the date and title of the piece and etc. and the place from where he got it. This kind of uh, activity actually is to do with involvement and with the, the place where he lives. Uh, the cans actually are, as we seen in the film, very old, uh, and people it 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 represent actually these cans represent the the city represent the so society because people use the quantity or whatever in inside of these cans, using it, and uh, then throw it uh, away. He goes and collect these things. So these cans represent a portrait of our city. The way Abdullah al Saadi exhibits his works is vital. Usually he displays works at strategic open places. We can use computers, we can use uh, watch TV, we have uh, mobiles, we have uh, everything. But we are with technology, but we, we, we don't let technology to hurt us, to hurt our spirit, our soul. We are with development and everything. We need technology, yes. We benefit so much. Well. The size of uh, my objects are not uh, it's uh, suitable to the size of the the audience uh, body or uh, or a human's body it's not so large like uh, uh, monumental uh, work uh, in order to for in order to take a distance between the monumental work and the body of the person neither it is like a jewelry which is very very uh, uh, they come very not only close even they put use them put them in their finger or their in their neck and they uh, try them when they buy it or uh, they worship it. So my work it hasn't got that, even uh, some of my pieces, my work are small, but they are not like uh, jewelry. Uh, so I reject my work to be so large and not to have that aspect of jewelry. So in that case, people, I, the, the audience, I want them to come near to my work. The size uh, is important here that the audience can see it. Even can, they can touch it. They can change their position if they want. And each time, each exhibition, I change the position of the work which, ex which I am going to exhibit.
1950-1955, which uh, conceptual and minimal, they are both matched together actually. Uh, they started to work, and why they done, or what their aim was to to be, uh, to stand uh, opposite the abstract expressionism, which was very high in those days, in the mid of the 20th century. And uh, there are many writers and good, important uh, theorists uh, behind the conceptual and minimal art. One of the most important uh, person is Joseph Kozoth, and uh, I was very glad that recently, uh, two years ago, I met him in Sharjah. He wrote in those days, in, 19, in 1969, sorry, uh, he wrote in 1969 an article which is very powerful and important article called Art After the Philosophy. Actually, i done many conceptual art and minimal art, but uh, till I get uh, my own individuality, now I am not doing conceptual, neither I am doing minimal art.